Hey guys, what's up? I'm back here with part two of my movie collection. This is going to be all Blu-rays and DVDs, the rest of my collection. Uh, the first part's going to be Blu-rays, the last part's going to be DVDs, so if you want to skip over the DVD part, you can, so just watch the Blu-ray part, which I'm doing right now. So basically my Blu-rays are separated into complete collections, digibooks, freaking still packs, all that good stuff. Alright, so let's get into this. Hopefully this won't be too long of a video. I don't want to spend too much time talking about each movie. I will if I feel like I need to, but yeah. Alright, here we go. Alien Authology. I've only seen Alien and Aliens. I've never seen Alien 3 or Alien Resurrection. I've heard nothing but bad things about either of them, though. So yeah, there's that. Um, Indiana Jones Complete Adventures. Believe it or not, I like every single Indiana Jones, even Crystal Skull. Star Wars Complete Saga. Probably my favorite favorite movie trilogy of all time minus one two I actually even like Revenge of the Sith though I don't like like I said um Phantom Menace or uh Attack of the Clones is the worst Star Wars movie ever it's awful it's boring yeah um next got a Terminator Anthology I've only seen Terminator and Terminator 2 never seen 3 Salvation or uh, Genesis Genesis is in here but I have it but I've heard nothing but bad things about it Pretty much three, Salvation and Genesis. All right, next we got the Digi Book. So uh, the Man Steel Digi Book. Uh, funny story about this. I'm not gonna go into details, but uh, let's say I got it for free. No, I did steal it. <laughs> if that's what you're thinking. Um, and I got the Batman v Superman Digi Book, which is the exact same kind of thing. It's from Target too. So yeah, there's that. Um, next, I got the, the Blade Runner. 30th anniversary steelbook with every single steelbook. I'm sorry. I mean digibook with every single version of the film. This is an awesome collection thing, whatever. But Blade Runner is one of my favorite sci fi's ever, so yeah, there's that. Um, next, we got uh, Blomkamp 3, which has District 9. District 9 is amazing. I've never seen Chappie. I've never seen Elysium, though, but District 9 is incredible, so yeah. Um, next, I got uh, the Ghostbusters 2 pack. Uh, of course, love these movies, grew up with them. I love both equally, honestly. A lot of people don't like two, but I like both, so yeah. Ghostbusters. Um, next, I got the Halloween, was it 35th anniversary digit book. Uh, I need to get the whole uh, collection they put out, uh, Screen Factory put out. Uh, I want the big box set though, with every single individual case rather than just the two smaller ones, but that one's out of print now, which sucks. I wish I would just bought it when it was out. Um, next I got a Shawshank Redemption, a movie I just watched recently. People say this is like the best movie ever, but honestly I think all the hype of that just killed it for me and it just wasn't that good to me. I mean, as like people say it is, but is it a good movie? Yeah. But I just didn't think like what it was going to be what it was, but that's just the way it is sometimes. Alright, uh, I forgot to do this first, so let me do this. Um, I have the Dark Knight Trilogy box set. So yeah, this is a really nice box set. It's kind of a little beat up on the bottom here because uh, I actually did that. So yeah, uh, this is limited. Uh, not really limited though because there's 141,000. Uh, and I've seen these a lot of places. And they recently just put a condensed version of this. So yeah, uh, Dark Knight Trilogy, probably the best comic book trilogy ever. Alright, next we got my Criterions. Uh, we got... Salo or 121 Days of Sodom, do not watch this movie unless you like shocking movies. A lot of people are like, would be like, this movie's just disgusting, I would never watch again. Would I watch again? Yeah, I would. Maybe just because I'm weird, but I thought it was cool in a way, but it was also fucked up. But it wasn't as shocking as everybody says it was in my opinion. So yeah, that's Salo or Silo, whatever you want to call it. Um, we got, here's, we got one of my favorite movies of all time, uh, the Fear and Loathing Las Vegas Criterion Collection. Criterion Collection version, yeah, I mean to say, uh, by the way, pretty much every single one of these Criterions I have, I picked up during the Barnes Noble Criterion sale in July, like, except for, like, one of them or two of them, but, um, yeah, uh, Days and Confused, one of the best coming-of-age movies ever, I heard they're putting out Boyhood on Criterion, uh, the other Richard Linklater movie, which is an awesome movie, too, and definitely deserves it, but, yeah, Days and Confused, awesome version of Criterion. Um, I don't know how this is Criterion, but it's the Curious Case of Benjamin Button. And I just actually just got this recently because I've been looking for it forever for, I think, $7.99 at Walmart in the bin. And it's Criterion, so yeah. Uh, 
What a deal, but it's in a regular Blu-ray case, so the most disappointing part about it. Um, we got next to Racerhead, a very weird David Lynch movie. Um, what am I saying? Everything he does is weird, but uh, yeah, you gotta give it a few watches if you want to like fully understand. I've only watched it once, but this is this is still a good movie. And this transfer looks, oh my god, it looks so good. I can't believe it was even made in 1977. Actually, it was made before that and came out in 1977. Because it took him about four or five years to make this movie. So yeah, oh, this movie looks incredible on Blu-ray. Um, Next week, unfortunately this is a DVD, but uh, Moonrise Kingdom, definitely one of my uh, recent favorite movies that came out in the last few years. But... I, unfortunately, this is a DVD because I was an idiot, and I now my FI was having a closing sale like a few months back this year, and I thought, oh yeah, the Criterion, this I want this. I thought it was the Blu-ray, but as soon as I get home, I'm like shit, this is the DVD. So yeah, I probably will sell this off one day or something like that to get the Blu-ray version because I, I hate DVDs, but yeah, it's still pretty cool though. Um, Next, we got uh, Mulholland Drive. I just watched this last night. This movie is also a mind fuck, just like every single Dave Lynch movie ever. Uh, I would highly suggest it if you like confusing movies, but also lesbian sex, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Now we're going to get into the Steelbooks. Alright, so we got uh, first here, we got 8 Mile Steelbook. Uh, the back says this every moment is ch another chance, yeah. Uh, pretty cool movie if you're an Eminem fan. That, that steelbook's kind of in crappy shape, but I won the Blu-ray of that movie, so I got it. Uh, Anchorman Steelbook. Really no reason for me to own this other than it was cheap because I already own these movies, but yeah, um, it's pretty nice. The inside's pretty cool too, but you can see I have a seal. I'm not going to probably ever open this or watch these because I already own them, so yeah. Um... The limited exclusive uh, Batman Killing Joke Steelbook uh, Target exclusive, which is actually really nice. You see that? And then you open it up and it has some pretty nice actually artwork on the inside. And yeah, I think the inside is. Yeah, just a, it's a continuation of that. Uh, this movie, though, um, first half is awful. Do not watch it. Let's get to about the 28th minute mark, and that's when the actual killing joke starts. Like. From the graphic novel, because the graphic novel is great. I think it's in the background right there. Yep, it's a it's a great graphic novel. I suggest reading it. I was suggested to read it. Glad I did, because it helped for this movie. The graphic novels, of course, still better. But um, next we got uh, the Big Lebowski steel book. Once again, kind of a poopy steel book, but it's, it's these exclusives. But I didn't have this movie, so I got it. Um, next we got a. Uh, the Deadpool Steelbook, which is, honestly, I, I finally admit it, it really isn't that nice of a steelbook. It's, eh, it could have been a lot better. But one of my favorite movies of this year. Um, next we got uh, the Robocop Steelbook, which I am fortunate enough to find. Fuck that paper, whatever. Um, this, is, this, is, this is a really good movie. This is the original, of course, so yeah. Um... Alright, um, I combined my metal pack and my steel books because this is really the only metal pack I have, but Saving Private Ryan, what a great movie. If you've never seen this movie, you should just watch it, especially if you like war movies. It's probably the most realistic war movie to ever exist. I mean, I think that's a known fact, but yeah. Uh, next, I got a... Why, do I, why did I wrap these? I tried to make these in good shape, but I ended up wrapping them with, like, shitty-ass... Saran wrap. I should try to find like better like holding because half this shit doesn't even hold properly. So yeah. Um. Next, I got Super Bad Steelbook. Uh. Actually, a really really cool steelbook. Like I said, I'll flip around a few more times. Um. I watched this movie a lot when I was a teenager. When this year come out, I think 2007, so somewhere around there. Um. Yeah. Uh. This is a good movie, but I probably won't ever watch it again unless I'm like really really drunk or something or I don't know because this movie I've seen so many times it's just like all right next we got a uh, taxi driver a great movie um, and then here we got the Terminator Genesis like I said I had I was lucky enough to get the steelbook actually not too long ago I think it was like 10 bucks 
because they had a sale for this movie. And I was like, I looked behind them because I wanted the slipcase version, but then I saw this. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm getting this because this is actually a really nice still book. But I have it sealed, and it's a really cool inside, too. But yeah, um, there's Terminator Genesis. All right. Here comes the real Blu-rays. 21 Jump Street. 22 Jump Street. Awesome movies. Next, we got a 300, one of my favorite comic book movies. 2001 Space Odyssey. I uh, haven't watched this Kubrick yet. Unfortunately, I gotta watch it soon, though. Um, uh, Ellie vs. Predator, uh, double feature. Funny story about this Blu-ray. I, I bought it almost many times. I finally bought it recently so I could have a complete Alien Predator collection. Bullshit. Whatever. But I tried to watch the first 20 minutes of Alien vs. Predator. I got bored, dude. I, I, I just couldn't. Um, American History X. Great movie. American Psycho. Awesome as hell, of course. Uh, the Amityville Horror. Um, think about this movie, actually. It's kind of stupid, the premise. Just, just actually think about it. Because I thought about it, and I'm just like, this is actually a pretty dumb movie. So, yeah. Next, I got uh, Anchorman. Anchorman 2. What, what can I say about them other than they're some of the great comedies ever? Uh, Edible House. Uh, just got this recently on Blu-ray. Uh, this awesome part, pop art version of it. Um, the Austin Powers, every single one of them. Uh, the Babadook, awesome slipcase of uh, awesome horror movie too. Um, Bad Grandpa, um, Jackass should never make a scripted movie ever because this movie is awful. I, I, I remember I was so hyped when this movie came, I'm like, awesome, finally a movie about the Grandpa and Jackass movies, and then it's scripted. I'm just like, oh, I thought this was just going to be like, Johnny Knoxville dressed like this grandpa fucking with people, but no, it's just this stupid thing. Um, Bad Santa, can't wait for the sequel. Um, Bad Lieutenant, uh, the remake, London, was it not London Calling, Port of Call, New Orleans. I heard this movie is ridiculous. I just got it recently, and that's the reason I got it, because I heard it's pretty great. Uh, dark comedy, uh, I've never seen the original, so yeah, looking forward to checking that one out. Um, Barbarella, a PG movie with nudity in it, basically. Um, Alright, Batman the original movie with Adam West and Burt Ward, I can never remember his name. Alright, next we got, uh... Batman nine half eighties and half nineties because what year did the first bat I think eighty nine actually but yeah um great movies all three except for Batman Robin of course um I look that movie as a comedy more than anything um Beetlejuice awesome uh, Blair Witch movie fucking sucks though I am kind of looking forward to the new one they're putting out here in a few weeks probably will go see it not gonna lie um Blow haven't seen it yet. Uh, Boogie Nights, awesome. Uh, Boondock Saints, still haven't watched this one either. Uh, Boyhood, awesome movie. Uh, the Breakfast Club, just watched this recently. Uh, pretty awesome 80s movie. Um, Carrie the Remake, um, I actually like this movie. Uh, Castaway, of course, awesome. Uh, Clerks, probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Need to get Clerks 2 on Blu-ray. I have it on DVD, but A Clockwork Orange, one of Kubrick's best. Not his best, in my opinion, but... Uh, Commando, fucking cheesy 80s action movie amazingness with Arnold. Um, the Conjuring, love this one, and I love the sequel. Um, Constantine, one of the most underrated comic book movies, honestly, in my opinion, that ever existed. I've never heard anybody talk about this one. It's actually a good movie. Next, Cop Out. Uh, I actually like this movie. People hate this movie, but I actually thought this movie was decent. Is it amazing? No, but it's Kevin Smith. So, um, The Crow. Awesome comic book graphic novel movie. What are you going to call it? Um, rest in peace, Brandon Lee. Uh, Daredevil Director's Cut. Never seen the Director's Cut, but uh, Daisy Confused again here. Had that before the other one. Um, 
Despicable Me 2. Probably won't ever watch this again, but I have it anyways. Um, next I got uh, the Dire Wimpy Kid. One, two, and three awesome family movies. Probably some of the best trilogy family movies ever. Um, Die Hard. I need to get the Nakatomi Plaza set they have. Because that thing's pretty sick. I've never seen any of the other Die Hards. Um, Django Unchained. Um, not my favorite Quentin Tarantino. A lot of people, this is their favorite, but... It's still it's a little too long for its own good at times, but it's still good. Um, Donnie Darko, one of the best mindfuck movies ever. Um, fucking ass Darko, piece of fucking shit movie. God damn it, I hate that fucking movie. I can't even watch the whole thing. I watched like 30 minutes of it. I'm just like, this is awful. This this movie is literally f fucking devil's balls. I don't know. It's awful though. Uh, I only keep it because collection reasons, and yeah, I, I would get rid of it otherwise. Um, Don John, an awesome movie directed by uh, Joe Singora Levin and starring himself. Um, the Doors movie, classic Doors. Alright, next pile. Alright, next we got uh, Don't Ask, but Dragon Ball Evolution. It was $2, I've never seen it, and I want to see some uh, cheesy, really bad movie, probably when I'm drunk, goodness. Not goodness, but badness. <laughs> uh, Drive. Love this movie. Um, dude, Where's My Car? Probably one of my favorite stoner comedies ever. Uh, Dumb and Dumber and The Mask. This is funny because there's a misprint on the back for The Mask. It says it's PG, but I know for a fact it's PG-13 and... Yeah, um, The Mask is actually really great, and I've seen Dumb and Dumber way too many times for my own good. Um, Edward Scissorhands, one of the best Johnny Depp movies. Uh, Empire Records, suggested by another YouTuber. Uh, Event Horizon, uh, a pretty awful movie, actually. Um, nothing like I thought it was going to be. Awful movie, don't watch it. Um, the Evil Dead, I like it. I like this one a lot, Evil Dead 2. I like it even better. Um, Army, Army of Darkness, um, amazing, amazing. This has every cut of the movie you can imagine on, too. Uh, this version of Scream Factory has the R-rated, the directors, the freaking international cut, the television cut. So there's four different versions of this movie on this freaking Blu-ray. It's incredible. And then you got the remake, which I like better than the original, honestly. If you want me to be honest. Um... Next, I got probably my favorite Kubrick movie, uh, I, with I, uh, Eyes Wide Shut. I, don't, I always say with Eyes Wide Shut. I don't know why, but this movie is just awesome. This, it's long, but it doesn't feel like the 2 hours and 45 minute runtime. I think it is. Yeah. Uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, one of the great 80s comedies. Once again, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, same with that. Fight Club, my favorite movie ever, and I need a slipcover to this, at least one of them. Preferably the one that looks like this. But, um, yeah. I really need it because this movie is my favorite movie ever. I've watched it so many times because I've seen it like not that long ago, honestly. It was not even a year ago yet. But um, Forrest Gump, classic. Uh, Full Metal Jacket, um, first half, amazing. Last half, not as good. Very not as good. It's like two different movies at times. Um, the Game, still haven't saw it, but Fincher, so yeah, that's why. Get him the Greek, used to like this movie when it first came out. Uh, don't hate it, but don't watch it anymore. But Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, awesome Fincher movie too, right here we got. Um, and then we got a Gone Girl, another awesome Fincher movie. Every movie this guy makes is pretty much good though, so yeah. The Goonies, amazing. Um, Gremlins. Uh, Grindhouse, which is uh, Death Proof and uh, Planet Terror. Honestly, Quint Tarantino's worst movie is this movie right here. Is it bad? No, it's just not good. Planet Terror is a lot better, though. A lot better. Um, here we got uh, The Grudge, which is actually a decent movie. It's not bad. I've never seen the original, but... Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, probably my favorite Marvel movie, honestly. Uh, the Hangover Part 3, I have the other two on DVD. One day I'll get them on Blu-ray just because I need to for some reason, even though I probably won't watch them again for a very long time. Um, 
Haunted Connecticut. I love this movie. A lot of people don't. The second one's not bad either, but that one's a lot better. Um, Heavy Metal, one of the greatest animated movies to ever exist. Uh, Ghost Rider and Hellboy. Hellboy 2. Saw this one first before I saw the original Hellboy. And it's got the slip case. Yeah. Um, Hellraiser. Awesome movie. Haven't seen past, I think, three, but yeah. Hope with a shotgun. Um, originally concepted from Grindhouse movie, but it's an awesome movie. And it's got Ricky in from Trailer Park Boy, so there's that. <laughs> um, Horrible Bosses 1 and Horrible Bosses 2. I like both these movies. Um, Interstellar. I haven't watched that one. Um, the Interview. Actually, not bad. Uh, Jackie Brown, a very underrated Quentin Tarantino movie, honestly, if you wanted to be honest with you. Um, Jaws, I've only seen a little bit of Jaws. I want to get the other sequels on Blu-ray. I have them on DVD, but yeah. Um, Judo, a very rewatchable comedy. Uh, Kick-Ass, one of the best comic book movies. And then Kick-Ass 2, which a lot of people don't like, but I actually like that one. Um, Hostel Part 1 and 2. Gore Fest, that's pretty good. Uh, I Know What You Did Last Summer, cool 90s movie, and I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, not a bad movie like people say it is, but not amazing either, but Inception, not seen this yet, oh, don't kill me, uh, Independence Day, 90s, of course, and Glorious Bastards, a very uh, long Quentin Turner 2 movie, a lot of talking, but really funny movie too. This is more of a comedy in my opinion than it is like an action. Because this movie is hilarious. Um, Insidious 2, uh, I think I like this better than the first. I had the first on DVD. I need to get, I need to upgrade that one and I need to get the third one too. So yeah, there's that. Uh, Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. I've only seen uh, Volume 1, unfortunately. Um, Last Action here. A lot of people do not like this movie, but I love this movie. It's pretty good. And then you got the Lethal Weapon Collection. Uh, first two are great, and the third one, and the fourth one, it's a little too much then. Little, little too much there. Mad Max. The Road Warrior. Beyond Thunderdrome. And Fury Road. I've only seen the original and Fury Road. I will watch the other two one day. Um, Mall Rats, amazing comedy by Kevin Smith. Uh, the Man of the Iron Fists. I've never seen this, but it was cheap, so I bought it, uh, Another Man of Steel copy. <laughs> Don't even like that movie really that much, but I own two copies of it. Um, the Matrix Trilogy. Uh, I've never seen the other two because I've heard nothing but bad things, but the original is amazing. So, yeah. Um, Metallica, some kind of monster, an awesome documentary about them creating Sin Anger. Uh, Million Ways to Die in the West. Honestly, not as bad as everybody says. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, decent movie. Uh, My Soul to Take. I just got this recently, um, it's been years since I saw it, but this is Wes Craven's last movie he ever made, and uh, I remember loving it, so yeah, I gotta watch it soon. Um, the Pulling Dynamite movie I loved when it first came out, when I was like in, I don't remember what grade, but I was obsessed. Uh, old, old School, definitely one of Todd Phillips' best movie. Um, Parallel Activity, the Mark ones, uh, I don't have the sixth one, I have the other few in DVD. Um, Predator, classic movie. Predator 2, not as good. Predators, um, don't remember much about this movie, but it's not bad. They're still more solid than the Alien Trilogy, in my opinion. I mean, anthology, not trilogy, but. Uh, here we go with Prometheus. I've never seen this one yet. I just got it recently, too. Um, Psycho, just got this recently. Never seen it. Pulp Fiction, one of my favorite movies to ever exist and ever. Um, I don't really honestly like Reservoir Dogs that much, if you want to be honest with you. Uh, Roadhouse, uh, cheesy, awesome action movie. Uh, Safety Not Guaranteed, a movie that's very underrated and I would suggest checking out. It's about time travel. Uh, so the Saul movies, I actually love every single one of these movies, minus the fifth one. Um, Scream, love this franchise. That's every single one, and then minus four, of course, Scream 4. 
Uh, seven, um, honestly, this movie creeped me the fuck out, uh, especially the one scene, I'm not gonna ruin it if you've never seen it, but it's a great thriller. One of Fincher's best. Um, The Shining, great Kubrick movie. Islands of the Lambs, a great movie, of course. Um, I've never seen Silent Hill Revelations. Uh, I've heard it's not great, great, but I got a Black Friday sale so about two years ago. Um, Silver Lions Playbook, one of my favorite romantic movies, I guess you could call it that. It's a really good movie. Um, Sin City, Tractor's Cut, Theater Archer Cut, and then I got this because I'm weird. I have two copies of it, and the movie's actually pretty good. Uh, Damn to Kill for Sin City, I've never seen this one yet. Uh, Sinister, one of the best horror movies. Uh, Sixth Sense. You already know the twist in that, how good that movie is. Um, the Social Network, well, an awesome Fincher movie once again. I don't think that guy can do any wrong, honestly. Um, South Park, Bigger, Longer, and a Cut. Mm, awesome, of course. Speed, oh, amazing. Uh, the Spider-Man trilogy, I even like Spider-Man 3, don't kill me, but... Um, Spring Bakers, a movie people hate, but I actually really like this movie. Um, Stand By Me, one of the best coming of age movies ever. Uh, we got The Forest Awakens, um, and this shitty, stupid Target exclusive pack. Oh, no slipcase or anything for, like, Jesus Christ, Target. Charging 20s and then dollars for that. Um, Swordfish, Point Break, and Executive Decision. I've never seen uh, Executive Decision. I've seen a little bit of Swordfish, but Point Break is amazing, which is the reason I bought that in the first place. Head, love that movie. Ted 2, love it too. Uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, one of the best horror movies. Um, we get a Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 here. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but uh, awesome comedy horror. Uh, this is the end. Pretty good. Uh, Titanic, um, I've never seen Titanic, and yeah, shh, I will one day. Um, Total Recall, amazing. Tusk, like it pretty good um usual suspects not that good in my opinion uh v for vendetta gotta watch this one day um van wilder pretty actually shitty comedy uh watchmen amazing comic book movie uh where the miller is kind of an underrated comedy movie with a slip cover half um weird science i love this movie this movie is great which I suggest not watch this movie unless you like slow burn horror movies because that's what this movie is. Alright, um, The Wolf of Wall Street is great, of course, if I can even hold this movie up. Jeez, I haven't watched it in about two years, but that's only because it's three hours, but I remember it's great, so yeah. <laughs> and then we got another Fincher here, we got Zodiac, which is a long movie, but it's worth the watch. And that's it for the Blu-rays and... Here we got Blu-ray TV shows, which there was like not many. Here there's like five. So yeah, let's just do this. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, here's Band of Brothers, the cool steel thing. Hey guys, for some reason my camera cut me off there. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm gonna finish this up. Um, what I have left is a uh, Game of Thrones season one, and uh, Orange New Black season one and two, and uh, Rick and Morty. I've heard nothing but good things about the show, and I watched the first two episodes so far, and I like it. So yeah, I'm going to watch the rest of this sometime. So let's go do the DVDs. I'm not going to pull the DVDs out. I'm just going to show them on the shelf, because it's a lot easier than pulling them out. And I don't really like DVDs. I just, most of the stuff I have on DVD, I just need to upgrade. Or some of the stuff is just out of print, but that's about it. Yeah, um, let's do this. All right, here we go. Um, First, we got a 21 and over. Not that great of a movie. 21, 28 days later, 28 weeks later. I've never seen the second one. 30 minutes or less. Awesome. Hoyo version. 50-50. Both great movies. And the American Pie trilogy right here. Uh, I love every single one except for the, I mean, especially the first two amazing soundtracks. Wedding is not as good to me, but I need to upgrade these to Blu-ray. Uh, we got the straight to DVDs. We got uh, Bandcamp. We got fucking... Uh, which is one, Naked Mile, Beta House, and Book of Love, which I actually like this movie a good bit. But the other few I don't really care about that much. But uh, And then you got Reunion, which is actually pretty good. Um, 
we got uh, Avengers the movie, which is <laughs> an old Avengers movie from the mid 2000s. And then we got the second Avengers, Ultimate Avengers. That was before Avengers was popular. Uh, Back to the Future trilogy. You need to really upgrade this to the really cool version they have it now. Um, Mr. Bean's Holiday. I really need to get the first one. I, neither of them are Blu-ray. It makes me mad. I wish the first Mr. Bean, at least, was on Blu-ray. Because it's a great movie. And this one's not as good. But um, Beefs and Butthead do America. This needs to be on Blu-ray, too. Uh, I need to get the criterion of being Jog Malkovich. Uh, bench Warmers. Classic movie to me. Um, uh, Blades of Glory. It's not bad. Uh, Borat, pretty funny actually. Alright guys, this is actually really hard to do because where the Blu-ray, I mean the DVDs are, I have them right now. Um, they're in like the side of my bed and yeah, my goal is just to get rid of a bunch of these. So yeah, um, Fahrenheit 9-11, a pretty good documentary actually in my opinion. A lot of people don't like Michael Moore, but uh, Bowling for Columbine pretty good same with that uh carry i'm waiting to upgrade this for the screen factory edition to come out later this year that's the reason i still have the dvd because the blu-ray currently of this is really cheap but uh the change up actually pretty not bad um chasing amy i really need to upgrade this movie uh this is a criterion collector so maybe i'll cheap keep that one um christmas story really need to upgrade this one chucky collection uh I don't know why I bought the DVD of this, because I was uh, buying Blu-rays at the time. Uh, I guess this is when I first started uh, collecting Blu-rays. I didn't really care, so I got the DVD of it. Um, let me move this up here. It's easier to do this. Um, Clerks, the animated series. Pretty good. Uh, Clerks 2. Need to upgrade that one. Uh, Clock Stoppers, a movie that came out when I was like... Uh, what movie, year did this movie come out? Uh, 2002, so about 8 years old. Um... Despicable little me. I actually like these movies. I hate the minions though. Uh, Dogma once again need needs an upgrade for me. Uh, Elf needs an upgrade. Your your uh, trip. I don't think this has a Blu-ray actually, but this is a pretty funny movie. Um, The Exorcist. I can't pull that out for some reason, but this definitely needs an upgrade. I need the anthology. Um. All right, what do we got next? Oh shit, we got stacked movies now. All right. We got up. This is definitely not in order, but I'm gonna pull this out. I think I need to pull. Yep, that's what I do. All right, cool. Um, we got a. What the fuck is that? I can't tell. Final Destination Three. Um, Friday. That really needs an upgrade. Um, Forgetting Sarah Marshall needs an upgrade. Funny People needs an upgrade. Grandma's Boy. I don't know if that's on Blu-ray or not. Actually. All pass, maybe. Hangover 1 and 2, definitely. Halloween, hopefully get the box at Harun Kumar. Trilogy, yeah, that definitely needs a freaking upgrade. Alright, what else do we got here? We got the Harun Kumar Christmas, which, yeah, that needs an upgrade. Uh, the Hills Have Eyes, that needs an upgrade. Uh, I Am Legend, uh, need to get every single one of these spin on your grades on Blu-ray. Um, Itchy the Killer, want to see, this is actually a really cool edition. Uh, this blood bag version, it's two discs, but, um... Yeah, that's, I'm going to put that up there because I'm lazy. Um, that's on Blu-ray, but it's literally impossible to find. But yeah, um, Insidious, like I said, I have that. Um, Jackass the movie, Jackass number two, Jackass 2.5, Jackass the Lost Tapes, which came out in between here. And then what else we got down here? We got um, Jackass 3, Jackass 3.5. Jaws, the sequels, and you get those on Blu-ray. Jane Silent Bob needs a Blu-ray update. Uh, I don't think this has a Blu-ray Jersey Girl. Um, King Kong, maybe. Knocked up, definitely. Leprechaun Collection, not really caring about that. I actually got that not very long ago. But I don't really care about that. These are all fucked up down here. Um, I never watch DVDs, so. Um, Little Miss Sunshine. Um, this need this really needs a Blu-ray fucking release. Um... Little Nicky, that's a great movie. One of my favorite Sandlers. Um, Lovely Bones, I got that because I read the book in college, and yeah, I didn't really care what format it was, and it was cheap. So, Metal of Headbangers, that would be an awesome Blu release. Um, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, the only reason I bought this is because it was a cool edition, it has like a film roll and everything like that. Um, what else we got down here? Um, Natural Born Killers, oh, I'm really pissed about that because oh, I miss Natural Treasure too, but who cares? But, um, 
National Born Killers. I heard the Blu rays are a print that makes me mad. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street 4 film collection. Um, Born Flew of the Cuckoo's Next, never seen. Orange County. I don't know if that has a Blu ray or not. I think I'm gonna upgrade these to Blu ray though. Uh, Pineapple Express. Definitely need to upgrade that one. Pirates. Will one day. Planes, trains. Definitely will upgrade. Alright, let's go on the other side now. Alright, we got Puppet Master. We got Eddie Murphy Raw. We got Roadhouse 2, an awful movie. Road Trip, I don't know if this has a Blu-ray. The Rockies definitely need an upgrade. Because I don't even have Creed. Um, Roll Miles needs an upgrade. Rum Diary does. Fucking School Rock does. Jesus Christ, pretty much all these movies down here need. Silent Hill, this is this movie's amazing. Um, can't even get it out, but SLC Punk, that needs a Blu-ray at least. Um, Simpsons movie. Space Jam, need to get that on Blu-ray. Step Brothers, eh. Super Troopers I can find really cheap. Um, Sweeney Todd, uh, Teledigan Knights, uh, Team America, I should have bought that on Blu-ray. Tenacious D, The Pick of Destiny, that really needs a fucking Blu-ray, like really bad, that's one of my favorite movies ever. Um, next, alright, this is the last shelf part. Um, we got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle trilogy right here. We got Pink Floyd The Wall, that needs a Blu-ray. Tropic Thunder, don't really like that, that's my boy. I don't know if that has a Blu-ray. Thanks, thank you for smoking. Great movie that doesn't have a Blu-ray. Toy Story, need to get those on Blu-ray. Uh, Vacation, all four of those, I need to upgrade them. Up in Smoke, needs a Blu-ray release. Every Cheech and Chong movie does. Um, True Lies, this really needs a fucking Blu-ray release. I've never seen it, but I bought it, and I can't even watch it because the format is shitty and the quality is so awful. Um, True Romance, I need to get that on Blu-ray. Um, Risk Cutters needs a Blu-ray release. Zack and Miri need to get that. And Zombieland. And that's it. That, that's it, guys. Um, I don't want to ramble on too much longer because, I, like I said, DVDs were going to be like, so sorry if I talk like too fast where you couldn't understand me. So, yeah, see you later, guys.